Welcome to 1842 Queen Street East, where we're going to be touring one of the most unique custom designed modern lofts in Toronto. This is a one bedroom plus den, two bathroom, 1,272 square foot, custom designed two story loft, located just 10 minutes away from the downtown core. Asking price, $1.4 million. As you walk in, you'll immediately notice this beautiful, modern, open concept kitchen. Updated appliances, perfect for the chef of the house. And you'll notice the owner added a touch of his own details. So the skull is gonna be a reoccurring theme throughout the house. Um, and these cabinets also are touch to open. So imagine this, you come home after a long day of work, you pour yourself a nice fine glass of wine, or maybe some hard liquor, you know, depending on how rough your day was. So with that being said, you might be wondering, where's the liquor cabinet? So you may think that this is the entrance to the boiler room. Well, in fact, this is actually where you store your liquor and alcohol to serve your guests. Something to note not only about the storage area, but in the rest of this home is the fact that these unique one-of-a-kind pieces are either collected or custom built by Damon Snyder, the current owner of the property and the principal designer of Type D Living. So we'll touch on some of these details as we walk through the rest of this loft. On top of that, the owner purchased this 11 foot long table from a restaurant that he was renovating. So it's perfect for entertaining or for sitting in and ordering that Uber Eats that you said you weren't gonna order for a 10th night in a row. Some of the brick that you'll see on this wall have been custom added by the owner, painted and distressed to give you that classic loft feel. This space was laid out in a way that doesn't block the hallway to the staircase, but still gives you enough space away from the TV so that you aren't too close. The owner has also placed a mirror in the living room in order to really open up the space and further support the open concept. You'll also notice this unique rotating coffee table and bean bag to hang out in in case you're feeling lazy. So we all got that one friend that likes to steal the iPhone charger. Well, you don't have to worry about that here because the owner built a custom design charging station made from a telephone booth. On the wall closest to the stairs, you'll see one of many pieces of art that live in this space. This Hendrix painting was painted by the current owner as the owner had a fascination with artists who had left behind a legacy after they have passed. The balcony is spacious and great for entertaining guests or for making food on the barbecue. So the first thing you'll notice in the bedroom is that the owner continued to maintain the rustic look throughout the space. So you have a custom wood bench here to sit on and get dressed in the morning and this mirror of course to help open up the space. The most drastic change that the owner made to the unit was the addition of this whole other portion to the second floor. So this was not there before. This bridge was actually built to connect the two spaces together. So over here we have the natural light shining through the skylight that's brightening up your overall workspace environment. And then over here we have the hammock which is obviously one of the most unique pieces about this loft. No loft in Toronto currently has this. Um, what makes it super cool is that you still have the skylight here that's shining through it, so you're actually brightening up the space below. Making your way into the washroom area, you'll notice that it's actually split into two parts. So here you have the vanity area, you got this bright LED mirror when you're getting ready for work, and then making your way into the washroom area, you got your toilet, you got a glass shower behind me, and what's actually my favorite thing about this is that you have heated floors. So for all my low iron kings and queens out there, you don't have to worry about cold floors in the morning. You're gonna have toasty toes right before you get into the shower and get ready for work. One of the first questions I always get asked from a potential buyer is if the unit is dog friendly. And the answer for this property is yes. This loft is currently home to a big friendly giant who lives happily and comfortably. Not only that, this loft is just a short walk to Woodbine Beach where you can walk your dog alongside the beautiful boardwalk by the lake. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.